guys, we are back with another brand with me, this time for the month of May and the theme is Cherry Blossoms. I already drew out some of these branches in pencil and now I am just filling them in with a dark brown fine liner. For the second month in a row now I am challenging myself with this theme because drawing trees is not really my strong suit. I've always been kind of scared of drawing them because I think they look so weird when I draw them. However, now I've kind of learned that trees really do look kind of weird, I don't know. So if I draw them and they look weird, it doesn't matter, trees are weird. I drew some small flowers in bundles with a liner from Moji that was erasable so that if I made any mistakes I could just erase them. Then I filled them in with this pink brush pen and filled in the branches with a colour that looking back wasn't the <laughs> perfect choice but honestly it works, it's okay. The reason why I chose cherry blossoms as this month's theme is because May is my birthday month so I kind of wanted a theme that represented me as a person and since spring is my favourite season and cherry blossoms bloom in spring and they're my favourite flower I thought what theme could be better than cherry blossoms? Then I wrote out me and I thought it looked a bit too skinny so I filled it in with the same and dark brown line and drop shadow with the pink mudgy pen. And I also added some shadow with the Pigma brush pen and blended it out with the Tombow blending pen. Then I drew out some petals falling from the branches and concentrated them a little around the lettering. Moving on to my monthly spread, I yet again kind of messed up a bit with the <laughs> With the calendar but honestly it you can't hardly notice it i just missed like half a centimeter on the width so there's a bit of a mess between wednesday and thursday but you can hardly see it then i'm adding the number of the days in these pink little blobs in the calendar and again, adding these branches coming in from the sides. This time I just kind of improvised. <laughs> I wanted it to look like the calendar and the to-do block were kind of floating in between the branches and I think it worked out pretty well. I used the same technique uh, to colour them in as in the title page. Again, using same colour for the branches that doesn't really look right. I think I actually might go over them sometime during the month and make them a better colour. We'll see. And I added little petals falling from the branches. I thought it made the whole scene look more lifelike. I also blended out the petals with the Tombow blending pen. Again writing out me a bit bigger this time making it a bit thicker and adding a pink drop shadow. Moving on to my mood tracker. In the month of April I tried a different kind of mood tracker that I haven't tried before and it didn't really work out for me so this time I am trying another mood tracker that I haven't tried before just to see if maybe it works. If this one doesn't work I think I'll just go back to the one that I've had since I started bullet journaling because it's worked for me since then and honestly if it isn't broken why fix it? So this month I am drawing out 31 flowers or petals I will be filling them in in a pink colour depending on my mood. I made a little, what's it called, well a thingy to show what colour means which mood. I'm sorry it's kind of out of frame but you'll be able to see it later.
As for my habit tracker, I am also trying something new. I'm making a little calendar for each habit that I want to track to make it easier to really see how I have been doing in that habit for the month. We'll see how that works out. It takes up a lot of space, but we'll see how it works out. I added some petals around the tracker and made it look like they had fallen from G and the Mood tracker and I think it kind of brought the two pages together in a really nice way. On to my brain dump page. I really can't seem to spell the word brain right. Honestly, every single month this year I have spelled it wrong and I don't know why. Anyway, I added a drop shadow and drew out lots of cherry blossoms around the title, filled them in and decided I wanted to add some more falling down along the edges of the page. For the next page, I thought I didn't know what to do with it so I just added this border but then I realised that I wanted to bring back my one line a day thingy so I made it into that spread instead. How it works is that for each day in the month I will dedicate one line to writing something good that happened that day to keep me positive and stop me from just seeing all the negatives all the time. And so on to the first weekly spread. I decided that as in April make the first two weeks in a joint spread because it is very space efficient and if I want to fit all of 2018 in this bullet journal I'm gonna have to save some space. So because I have that little space for each week I just added these tiny weekly events tracker thingy and then two small calendars and lots of cherry blossoms. For week 18 I just added these small dots for the dates and for week 19 I added small petals and I thought it looked really pretty to be honest, it's so cute. Oh god, I when I was small I just didn't appreciate the colour pink because I thought it was like too curly and so on. I don't know, I just didn't really like pink as a colour. I still, it's not my favourite colour still but I've started to realise that it's actually a really pretty colour. To the third week of May, I decided to go with a layout that I haven't tried before with these boxes in different shades of pink. I messed up with the dates again and really, who's actually surprised? It works out okay in the end, but honestly, I wish that for one month I could actually do everything right. Then I added a little calendar at the top and again some branches sprouting up from the bottom of the page to make it look like they were coming from underneath. Let me tell you, my hand was cramping so hard after drawing all of these tiny flowers. I just wanted it to be over with. Oh my god. Oh, the pain. I have such an appreciation for artists that draw like super detailed tiny things in their artwork because how the hell do you manage without dying halfway through? I really don't understand. Cred to you guys. Jesus Christ. The <laughs> blending pen had sort of gotten a bit pink. So when I wanted to blend out the shadowing, it, it kind of got pink, but eh, what does it matter? Pink trees, that's what we're all about, guys, aren't we? So for the next week, I made a vertical layout and decided to write the date of each day inside or on. Inside, on, I don't know. These cherry blossoms. And then just dividing the days in events and to-do 
so the events will be written above the line and to-do lists and other notes are below the line. I just added some random flowers and petals in these two different shades of pink all around the page. I think it turned out pretty good. This is one of my favourite spreads for this month, I think. Look really, it looks really soft. This week I really didn't have a plan for, I just really improvised in the moment and I don't know if I'm happy with the result, I mean it's not my favourite spread but I mean it's a functional weekly spread so I can't really complain. I made another vertical layout this time with these boxes and I added a weekly events section at the bottom a tiny calendar and then added a drop shadow to the week box thingy. On to the last spread my memories of me page. Kind of similar to the bring down page I just wrote it out and filled the empty space with lots of flowers and petals. So there you have it guys, the month of May. Lots and lots of cherry blossoms. Actually I am really happy with how it turned out. A lot of things are as pretty and neat as I'd like them to be but honestly that's the charm of it isn't it? 